Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pixie Love. Today we're going to be doing some R slash back logic. It's going to be a good video. Um, my character is not moving around because the camera isn't working, but she's cute. She has a new outfit on. Hopefully you guys like her new outfit. I think it's adorable. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Alright, let's jump into this with this first pose. You're scared of being fat. Here's how that makes me feel. Oh, see, as someone who is fat, I can understand how that can make someone else feel, and I empathize how that, and I empathize with how that makes other people feel. But at the same time, I don't care about anyone else more than I care about myself. And like I said, I don't want to be the weight I am anymore because I can feel the physical pain and the physical downsides to being this overweight and what it's doing to my body. So I empathize with how you feel. I'm still going to try to lose weight. Sorry, not sorry. Friendly reminder that if your progressive politics don't include fat liberation, they're worthless and you're goofy. Kisses. No one's opinion or political views are worthless. You can completely disagree with them. They can be completely... In my opinion, some some political views are just downright immoral, but they're not worthless. Everyone has a right to their own opinion, whether you like it or not. That's part of the thing about this country, freedom of speech. Like, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But things like this is not going to make someone want to come to your side. You can't call yourself progressive, but then also kind of be an asshole to the other side thinking that's going to make them want to come to your side. You should be willing to have open communication, gentle communication with people who have different opinions with you. Because if you come in a rude way, that's going to shut people down. They're not going to want to hear what you have to say. And that's going to make them want to resent you even more. So this is not helping your case at all. If you restrict or compensate after eating past comfortable fullness, you are missing out on a powerful opportunity to see what your body naturally wants you to do. Allow your body permission to take the lead. Now, as someone who allows their body to take the lead, eating past a comfortable full fullness feels like shit. H have you ever actually eaten past fucking fullness? Because you feel like shit. You don't want to get up. You don't want to do anything. You feel bloated. You feel freaking sluggish. Like, oh my god. What? Like, have you ever actually done it? Like, have, have you done the things like you're talking about wanting to do? And also, restricting and eating past a comfortable fullness are like completely two different things. Eating past a comfortable fullness, you already got to that powerful opportunity like you're talking about. Just because you think about it afterwards doesn't mean you didn't get to the pro powerful opportunity, okay? Second of all, maybe I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Maybe I've been doing this whole fat person thing all wrong because I've never once been happy about overeating. And I, your girl loves to eat, man. I fucking love food, okay? Love it. I love all kinds of food. I'm kind of picky with some exotic things, but I love food. I love to fucking eat. And I've eaten well past being full, okay? So, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Because every time I do it, I just feel like shit. Someone help me down in the comments. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what this powerful opportunity is that I'm missing. I'm fat, but I identify as skinny. I'm trans slender. Ooh. The person who posted this kind of said that this was a... Not kind of. They basically said that this is transphobic. And I would agree. It makes a mockery of what transgender is. And that's not right. Don't make a mockery of people's lives. It's, it's stupid. Just like the fucking trans race shit, you're just making a mockery of, you know, actual, not a problem, but actual people's lives. Like you're making a mockery of how some people actually really feel that they do not identify with the gender that they were assigned at birth. Like, don't make a mockery of it. That's all I wanted to say. I just like, I don't like stuff like this. It's super, super stupid. And it's just like, you're not funny. And also the shirt looks like it's like a size medium anyway. <laughs> I promise you, no one cares how many calories you burn during your workout. I say this with love. 
please stop posting your Apple Watch workout summaries. I know you're excited about your workout, but guarantee you're triggering someone around you. Heart, heart. Personally for me, I don't post those, but I feel like if I would, I wouldn't trigger anyone around me that is important because almost everyone around me wants me to lose weight and get healthier and be a better person because I'm one of the few people in my family that is extremely overweight. No one that's important to me would care. Now, if you're some random fucking person, I don't give a fuck if I trigger you. That's your problem, not mine. If you're in a category of being an overweight person and my weight loss triggers you, all you're going to do is go eat more food, which is what you want to do anyway, so you should be happy that I'm triggering you. Because you're just going to go do what you want to do, which is eat. So go ahead and go eat. Is there anywhere to sell clothing online? I would donate them, but I don't want the thins to find them and make them over. I want them to go to an actual fat person who needs them. Mostly a bunch of dresses from Eska, whatever. First of all, 6X in size 30 to 32. Oh my fucking God. Anyway, let me get to the real reason why I don't like this post, honestly, is the thins. So, one of the main things about the fat activist movie and the fat liberation, all this shit was that a lot, not a long time, but like back when I was in high school, back when everyone about older than me was in high school, being fat was kind of like a huge no-no and you would get bullied for it a lot and even though the world talks about how like so many people are obese you feel like you were like the only fat person in school you know what i mean and you know people would call you fat they used to make fun of you they used to diminish you here there blah 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 and part of it was to kind of build a community to not try to build a community that was against the bullying and it seems like they turn into the bullies for anyone who isn't their size now they're going to be calling them names and calling them the thins and straight sized people and yada 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 it's so diminishing you're you yourself started to join this community because you didn't want people to only see your size but anyone who is not your size you only see their size you see them as straight sized people or the thins you're diminishing them as a human being which is what you don't want people to do to you because of your size yet you're doing it to other people this is why no one likes you this is why no one likes you guys <laughs> Ugh. it's amazing how often naturally thin people are told that their body size is due to their genetics but naturally larger bodies are told that their body size is due to individual choice i get this but no one is naturally 300 pounds. There are naturally larger bodies, which tend to be more of the original term curvy, people who tend to have a bigger chest, wider hips. There are people who do have naturally larger bodies, and there are people who have naturally slimmer bodies. I wouldn't say thin, but slimmer bodies. People who don't have as many curves are just like very slim people. That, that does happen, but no one is naturally... 250 pounds. No one is naturally 300 and plus pounds. Like, no one is naturally that size. That is an individual choice because you are choosing to overeat and not work out. You get complacent. It becomes patterns. Some, some it's the way you raise. It, it sucks, but it is a matter of choice and a matter of circumstance when you're that big. Now, let me read what this person says. We have to change this narrative. Please stop assuming how someone eats or exercise based on their body shape and size. There is over a hundred factors that influence why we weigh the way we weight and why our bodies are the shape that they are. The, the belief that body size and shape is a choice is a false belief. Mainstream culture is not talking about weight discrimination and body size oppression. I want to be a part of that change. Do you? Start talking. Start questioning. Start unlearning. It's never too late to do better. I, okay, I think one of my biggest problem with this community and these people is once again, just like the transgender post, they are diminishing oppression and discrimination and this whole discrimination and body size oppression really pisses me off as a person of color because... I know what discrimination is. 
and I know what oppression is. I don't think I've ever really felt that due to my size. And maybe I have, but it's not to the point of because of my race. And so I don't see those problems as that bad. Now, if you are a larger white person and you don't have normal discriminations and normal oppression that a person of color does, then yeah, the small little discriminations and the small little oppressions of being bigger will seem major to you. But as a person of color who is also bigger, the bigger issue is my skin color. So those oppressions are minor to me. And I hate when you use this terminology to make your issue seem worse than what it fucking is. It really pisses me off. I'm sorry. If your biggest problem in life is a man not liking you because you're overweight, you don't have a lot of problems in your life, honestly. Also, be around other men. Like, if, if your biggest issue in life is that the store doesn't have a plus-size mannequin to show you what the clothes look like on you, oh my god, you're lucky. You, you have nothing to worry about. Like, oh my god. If those are your problems, that like you can't fit in a roller coaster properly, oh my god. Like, do you see how that sounds compared to someone who, like, is afraid to leave the house without my ID in case a cop wants to stop me and wants to know who the hell I am? Like, that's how I feel. I hate leaving the house without my ID because I'm scared that I'm going to be walking down the street and a cop wants to fucking talk to me. I'm scared of my, my nephew driving his car just because he is a tall black man with a beautiful afro. Like, th those are my discriminations and my oppression that I have to deal with. That me worrying about not seeing a plus size model and me worrying about not fitting in a roller coaster doesn't get to me that badly. Like, what the hell? Oh my god, I'm just... Sorry, I felt like I didn't really mean to make this thing about race. But when you use those words like that, it just annoys me. It makes it seem like you're diminishing my problems. Dieting is self-inflicted torture. <clears throat> Dieting is the self-inflicted torture for the approval of people who don't care. Bold of you to assume most people are losing weight for someone else and not themselves. Like, just because you, all you care about is other people's approval for yourself, doesn't mean the people who are trying to lose weight are doing it for other people's approval. So I think this is going to be the last post. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. If you want to see my lovely face, you can follow me on my Instagram. Uh, you can also follow me on my Twitter. I also have a podcast. I have an Etsy shop. I do a bunch of little things. So if you want to support me, there's different ways down there that you can support me. I think I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers on Instagram. So I hope maybe you guys can help me hit 2,000 subscribers on that. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys love Fat Logic videos. And bye bye.